I will now show you how to remotely manage and change the devices you've added to your cloud account. Firstly, sign in your account. From the home page, select the Devices tab. This will take you to your device dashboard from where you can begin to monitor and change the settings of all your devices. Note, as administrator, you have authority to make any changes. Other users created in the administrator section of the site may not be able to change all settings, but for the purposes of this video, we'll proceed with full privileges. Any device added to the cloud can be found under New Devices. To view or change settings, select the desired logger. At the bottom of the dashboard, you can see a number of icons which show the activities that you can view, manage or change for each device. Firstly, if you wish at any stage to stop a logger and archive its data, you can do so by clicking the Archive Data button. A warning will appear before data is archived and when clicking the Archive button, an approval window will also appear. Enter your account details to continue. This approval is part of 21 CFR compliance, creating a record of any change made to the system or device for audit purposes. Each device is saved to the cloud with a standard default setting. To view or change any of those settings, select the device and click the Change Device Settings tab. Here, you can change the name of the device, the temperature scale, the rate at which the logger samples, the rate at which it transmits those readings to the cloud, alarm settings, email alerts, and the device location. We will move this device to our top location. Let's take a look at the dashboard. On the left, you can see the locations already created. Click on the expandable cross to see sub-locations. Select a location to see the sensors assigned to that particular location, or select the top location to see all. Devices assigned to the location can be seen on the right. This shows the type of devices, their names, signal strength, whether they are battery or mains powered, if any alarms have been set, the current reading and the status wheels which represent when the next data transmission will be made. Devices in alarm are indicated by the red alarm icon. To view data, select your device and click on the view data button. This will show data in graphical form for the duration of the logging session. Click the Data tab to see that information in tabular form. The Summary button to see an overview of the whole session, including max, min, average and standard deviation data, settings and specific device data. If you wish to view a particular block of time in detail and not the whole session, Select standard blocks such as 6 hours, 1 day, or enter a time period of your choice. If you want to view previous session data, these can be found under the Other Sessions tab. Back on the dashboard, selecting Event Logs will show all activity on each device in a simple to read format. Events may include a charger disconnect, an alarm or connection loss. A time and date stamp against each event is shown to the right and if you wish you may record a comment explaining why it occurred. To reset this alarm go back to the dashboard and select reset alarm. This will reset the alarm at the next scheduled transmission on any logger currently in alarm condition. Lastly review the properties of individual sensors by clicking the properties icon. This will give an overview of details such as logger name, MAC address, current reading and its device settings.